Seeing them makes me see myself 20 years ago, now from the outside as opposed to from the inside. And you can see all the work that we were putting forward, like uh, in, like classes with Stephen or any of the professors here, how much work there was and dis discovery of both self and uh, finding a skill that we didn't have before. And it seems so difficult at times. And now from the outside, not to say that it's not difficult, I see the difficulty, I see where the struggle and hard, the, the work of it comes from, um, but from a very different perspective. When I'm now the one challenging the students with something compared to being the one being challenged by the professor. And uh, I empathize with them because I, I see how much they have to give themselves um, when they not, they're not exactly sure how to do that. And then they're trusting me as their director you know, to take a risk somewhere that they, they, they couldn't fathom what that risk is. And I, something I say to them is, if you can get comfortable with being uncomfortable, you're gonna find that magic and you're gonna find that thing you're looking for. It's when you're uncomfortable that you grow your most. And I didn't realize that until I, was, I had left the program. And I started doing other work professionally. And I really saw how much growth I was able to accomplished just here once I went somewhere else where the challenges were different, not better or worse, but different. And the unique challenge that was always presented to us as the student body here, um, I found the most fruitful. It's carried me through the last 20 years of any professional work that I've done. I've always come back to the root of the discipline that we received here, both in class or in the production. Um, it's never left me. Sometimes you think it will, you know, you'll grow past it, but you don't. It's always a touchstone. And it's nice to see that those students are creating that for themselves now. And it's, uh, it's an honor in a way and exciting to be a part of that process, helping them find that foundation that they're finding right now. Well, the, the challenge of trying to put a show together expedited in a way when the, you, a longer process is always something desirable in theater. You always want a longer process and thankfully having two months to prepare for the show, you know, it's sometimes unheard of, but having that time gave me the time to do the backlog work that I didn't have time to prepare for. So the discipline that I learned here actually served me very well, um, taking my time to set the blocking, to understand the dynamics of a play within a play, trying to understand those two stories being told on top of each other. Um, I had to do that very quickly. Um, but the training I got, um, both as an improv actor as well, served me very well to do that. I understood and I love the joy of finding characters within a character. That just delights me. So that passion to, to f allow students to discover that and do that with them, that carried me through when I had you know, uh, my train rides Sometimes I'll have an hour and a half, and that's, that would be my zone in time to sit and go, I have an hour and a half, I'm going to lock in these three scenes, and I'm gonna have that done before I get off the train. And that having that regimented process, and having it set in stone quickly and early as possible, allowed the freedom I've been able to find at times on stage with the students. But if I didn't have that, the, that set period of this is my work time, this is my work zone, I wouldn't have been able to expedite it so quickly uh, and successfully, even with the you know, unexpected challenges, despite the ones, you know, the, the challenges you do know. We've all watched a show where something goes wrong, and I know I myself as an audience member, when I've seen something go wrong, it's just, you, you panic for them, but then when, if the, the actors recover, it's like you want to celebrate, you did it, you got through that moment. But we've also been to productions when it never gets better, and it's just, oh boy, when do we, uh, when does this show end? And I think this, this show is like a celebration of all those things, both as an actor and both for the audience as well, so they get to kind of delight and relax into the problems. Um, so on the, on the surface level, it is, it's a comedy. Come laugh at theater at the, at, and also celebrate how, how much strength and how much uh, dedication it takes just to pull off a good one. So pulling off a bad one has even, <laughs> is even harder to make what looks bad look good. In a, in a deeper sense, when I always think about theater, it always challenges me as an audience member, what else is there for the show? And I think to myself, you know, if, if we can laugh at them up there, you know, we can, and if we can see ourselves too, people working, actors are in a sense working towards a goal. I have, this show is important, I'm gonna finish it, I'm gonna get through it despite the problems that are going on. That at the same time, we in our own lives go through that. And I love the idea of being able to see yourself as an actor up there, where we can 
uh, when we're faced with something really difficult, the ability to laugh at yourself through something very difficult, or to laugh at your own absurdity, similar to the actors up there. If you can find that in yourself in your own life, there's a there's a release, and a, you can escape the the horror that is the you know the, the nightmare that's happening to those actors. You yourself can uh, move through that.